Hi guys, now we talk about tuberous sclerosis. There are two genes of tuberous sclerosis, tuberin and hamartin. The chromosome number are chromosome 9 and chromosome 16. In chromosome 9, there is hamartin gene. In chromosome 16, there is tuberin gene. Now, it has a clinical triad that is epiloia. Epiloia. Epi means epilepsy. LOI means low IQ. A means adenoma sebaceum. First, we are going to discuss about some major dermatological clinical features. First, aslim macule. It is lensiped macule. Just like this. It is lensiped macule. Here it is aslim macule. Now, adenoma sebaceum. It is also called facial angiofibroma. Facial angiofibroma. These are adenoma sebaceum. These small small dots are adenoma sebaceum. These small small dots. Now, sagrin patch. In lambosacral region, there are sagrin patch. Lambosacral region. These are the leathery plaque. These are the leathery plaque. Now, in toe, there is coenon's tumor. These are also fibroma. Coenon's tumor. Clinical feature, seizure. As I previously mentioned, epiloia. Epi means epilepsy. So, there will be seizure. Tuberous sclerosis is associated with renal angiomyelopoma, cardiac rhabdomyosarcoma, and retinal hematoma. Retinal hematoma, cardiac rhabdomyosarcoma, and renal angiomyelopoma. Angiomyelopoma means accumulation of fat. In CT scan, fat are hypotense lesion. So, in CT scan of kidney, there is hypotense lesion. These are fat. It is angiomyelopoma. One more clinical feature of tuberous sclerosis. There is SEGA. SEGA means subependymal giant cell astrocytoma. These are very important features. Subependymal giant cell astrocytoma, SEGA, around the foramen of Munro along with periventricular calcification. So, along the foramen of Munro, there will be subependymal giant cell astrocytoma and periventricular calcification. So, these are all important points about tuberous sclerosis. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and do subscribe see you in next video tata